What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fantasy Addiction Network. Today, we're going to be breaking down one of the sneakiest players in the XFL for fantasy, Larry Rose. We're breaking down his potential for the fantasy football season here in the XFL. Uh, if you guys are curious or you want more XFL information, feel free to click that like and subscribe button. We'll be posting daily content for the XFL, keeping you guys up to date on all the latest news. But we're not going to waste any more time. Let's get started right away. All right, guys. So like I said, I am pumped for Larry Rose. I think that he is playing on one of the better offenses, maybe not one of the better teams, but one of the better offenses in Los Angeles and just carries an incredibly fast and athletic profile. It's going to be a really nice compliment to Elijah Hood. You know, definitely going to have to fight for some carries because I think that Elijah Hood is uh, pretty good overall. But like, if we're talking about potential players, uh, yeah, I guess everyone in the XFL could be called a sleeper because we don't have much experience in fantasy. But like, this is the sleeper that you want to make sure that is on your team. He's going to be drafted late. Make sure you just take a stab at him. There's you know two running backs that I'm I'm just saying I want on my team near the end of the draft. I want to grab Larry Rose and I want to grab Quentin Flowers. Just make it happen. Make sure you get at least one of those two guys, if not both of them. They just have a really nice athletic profile for this league. And because they're not as big names, like I'd also throw Danelle Pumphrey out there, but I think he's going to get drafted really high. So get these guys late in your drafts. They're going to end up paying dividends in the end. So let's break down a little bit of who this guy is. You know, coming out of New Mexico State, he's still only 24, incredibly young. 5'9", 192, definitely on the smaller side, but had that 4 4 7, 40 time, incredibly fast, good burst score, and is just a really, honestly, he's a really well-rounded runner. He's more of a pass catching back, but he can get it done on the ground, even though he's a little bit smaller. Uh, when we look at his stats at New Mexico State, again, not playing in a very strong uh, conference, but had multiple seasons of over a thousand yards two more where he almost hit it average right under six yards per carry uh 37 touchdowns over that four year span two seasons with double digits but then when you look at his receiving stats in that final final season 55 receptions for 522 yards phenomenal you know constantly being used in the passing game and with playing in LA, getting to play with the best quarterback in the XFL with Josh Johnson. They're going to use Larry Rose a lot. They don't have a true alpha in the receiving game. They're going to be looking to have some help out of the backfield. Now, again, Elijah Hood is a good receiver in his own right. Larry Rose is going to have to fight to get that playing time. But again, this is your sleeper pick. If Elijah Hood goes down or he just underwhelms or underperforms, Larry Rose is going to smash. I love Larry Rose late in XFL drafts, and I think everyone should draft him. So don't draft him if you're in my league. But otherwise, draft him and be happy that you did. But anyway, if you guys are excited about the XFL and want more content, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be posting XFL content throughout the season daily, keeping you guys up up to date on all the latest and greatest news. And you can download my free rankings. Click that link in the, the description box below to get those for free. We'll be updating them all the way up until the season starts. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.